Good morning, team. I've called this meeting this morning in the hope of creating a brand new radio controlled truck that we can get to market before our competition. This truck will be based on the Transformer movie series. And again, it's vital that we get to market within the next 30 to 60 days. So Dale, I'm going to ask that you do the design work, the sheesh, the sustainability and simulation work, and Matt, the 3D documentation and the marketing materials that go along with that. We'll meet again in 30 days. In the meantime, I'll have one-on-ones to measure our progress. But 30 days from now, the goal is a completed and brand new RC truck. To start working on my model, I'm going to check out the files from Enterprise. Here's my initial design. I'm going to roll down the feature tree so you can see. Adding some surfacing. We'll add a loft here. Then we'll add some surfacing. Add some fillets. And finish off the design. Now we need to assemble my rear suspension and get these files checked in to Enterprise so I can notify Matt and Ashish that my initial design has been completed. Now I'm going to check in my files so Ashish and Matt can start working on the models. For design validation using simulation, we have performed a dynamic analysis required operating conditions are applied and the fluctuating loads the suspension arms are subjected to are also applied when the vehicle is in motion. Let's take a look at the results. We observe that the suspension arms are over designed. Let's recommend Dale to remove some material to save cost. Now I'm going to check out the model to make my design changes. Ashish came back with his analysis results and found that the suspension arm is over design and requested that I remove some material. Now I'm going to check in the model so Ashish and Matt can rework my new design. Now that Dale has removed some material, let's take a look at the results. We observe that we not only have a new improved design but also at a reduced cost. Using sustainability, let's take a look at the environmental impact of the selected material between the two designs. We observe that the new improved design has reduced carbon footprint helping us to make more eco-friendly product. They let me know that the files are ready for the new RC truck, so I went into Enterprise, checked them out, and started to create some basic views for our documentation. Here's what I have so far. I started working on putting our views together for our new manual. Enterprise notified me that there was a change to one of the parts in the rear assembly. Because Dale made a change to one of the files, I'll use 3D via Composer to update that part in my view. The change gets updated in all my views. This is going to save me a lot of time and rework. Marketing wants me to focus on assembly instructions for the transmission. They also wanted to have interactive 3D content so consumers can get step-by-step -step instructions on how the transmission is put together. Here's what I created. Because I'm using interactive 3D content, consumers will be able to go step-by-step -step through the process. I use 3D via Composer to create all our marketing materials for the RC truck 
along with PDF files and interactive parts lists for the website. Marketing also wanted me to create interactive 3D content for our new online assembly guide and when Dale made changes to his file, I was able to quickly update all my content without having costly rework. Once I save my file, I'll be sure to check it back into our Enterprise Vault. Congratulations team, I just received word that we were on time with our new high quality, reliable and green RC truck that our customers love. That coupled with our new interactive 3D content, we now have a winner.